So here's a few seconds of the bowl I'm going to complete during this video. This is the second bowl being made from a crotch from the spalted maple from my neighbor. It's the last significant piece I have. I've split it in half. I've done the other bowl. I'm working on this one. They should be similar, but I might make them different. Depend. I always end up just kind of winging it when I go. Um, so this is, is pretty spalted. I don't know if this angle here is good. Here you can kind of see it here. It's pretty gray in here. So all of this wood has been quite gray. Um, some areas have been light, but mostly it's been pretty gray. So this is mounted with the natural, the outside will be up, this will be down. Um, I'm gonna put a tin in, or not a, mort a mortise in here. Okay, this is the second of two bowls that I've made from a spalted maple crotch. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one has more of a natural edge than the other one, the first one did. It, um, I, I decided to make the other one look more like a platter. This one here, I decided to make a, a very flat bowl out of it. The, um, Overall, this I think this is the last of the two of the pieces that I have from that uh, neighbor's fallen tree. I'll turn it over here, and so you can see it's quite dark. It's got a lot of interesting ripple and so on in the wood at the crotch, and the colors vary quite a bit. There's a little bit of orange in these in these two bowls. Um, there's my wood nickel in the middle. Okay, this is my final two bowls from the spalted maple 